Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, last week I talked about my story of debt and acquisition of it and how I paid it off and what I learned. And in that story, I mentioned that I had joined an MLM at some point in my life right after I finished university. So this is that story of how I joined that MLM and how I got out of it and what I learned. So without further ado, let's get into it. In 2020, 2013, I graduated from university. I graduated with a Bachelor of Fine Arts with a concentration in performance. Uh, so basically acting, that's uh, what I did. And at that time I was working in retail at just a clothing store. I didn't have any other work lined up. Uh, it also wasn't like our, the right time for auditioning, for auditioning season. So I was just working that job for the time being until something else came along. And oh boy, did it come along. So I'm at my job and uh, a young couple come in and they're around my age. They're looking around and I'm chatting with them, having a good conversation. And I actually realized that I know the guy. Um, we had taken a Spanish class together in my first year. We'll call him Steve. And he was there with his fiance, Emily, and they were both really nice. So they leave the store and a few hours later, Emily calls uh, to talk to me about uh, getting together for coffee for to talk about a potential business opportunity. So I met with them. I didn't see anything wrong with that. Uh, they seemed very nice, well-meaning, they're around my age, and honestly, they're just the kind of people that I would like to be friends with. From that coffee meeting, I do end up going to a few meetings, uh, some more private, some a little bit bigger in conference rooms. So one thing led to another, and I ended up joining Amway. And I'm gonna be really honest, at first I really liked it. I uh, bought into the business structure, I liked the products, and more than that, I really liked being associated with these well-speaking, well-put-together people who were all really nice, really kind, and incredibly smart. And it also really felt like they were buying into my dreams, my goals, and um, what I wanted from my life. I know at that time, I wanted to be a professional full-time actor, living in a larger city center, working nonstop, and you know, they hypothesized that with the business, I could build it to a point where it could be passive income and it would kind of operate on its own so that I could move to said big city and kind of avoid the entire starving artist uh, time period. You know, and obviously it can't stay, you know, all happy-go-lucky. Yeah. Obviously I left Amway. So the turning point for me uh, was when I went to a conference that was put on by Amway, of course. Uh, that was really focused on growth of self, but also growth of your business. Uh, and one of the speakers was John C. Maxwell, who is an author. And at that time, we were all reading the 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. And I remember sitting out in the audience at the conference, taking my notes uh, on what he was saying and what he was talking about and, and getting kind of upset with myself. It felt like everything that he was saying, I should be applying to my own personal growth, but also the growth of myself as an actor rather than myself as an Amway business owner, you know? Um, so that night, I cried. I cried a lot. I felt like I was making a big mistake by being in Amway. I felt like I was harming my acting career. Um, I don't know if, I, if, if, other people who are in the arts feel this way, but it, it feels honestly like any period of time that you are not actively pursuing your craft, people are forgetting you. They're forgetting who you are. They, they may be thinking that you aren't working anymore and that you're not interested in working anymore. Uh, despite that, I still stuck it out for a while after that. Um, honestly, longer than I should have. Uh, that should have been the point where I was like, you know what? I think I've learned enough and I think I'm gonna walk away from this. This isn't for me, but I didn't do that. I stuck through it for a long time. Yeah, I, I'm a little upset with myself that I did that. I think the big thing that really uh, changed my mind about whether I wanted to be an Amway business person is that um, in the ensuing months, I would watch the uh, women and men around me. Um, I would see them building their business and what they were working towards with their business and, and their brand. And it never fit with what I wanted. Um, All these people were so dialed in, like this is what they wanted to do. They wanted to be a business person. They wanted to you know, serve their upline. They wanted to create a downline. They wanted to serve those people. I, From what I was seeing of the people around me is that 
this was it. You know, they were so invested in building this business for themselves to create financial freedom, you know, whether it was to be a hashtag girl boss or, you know, stay at home mom or um, a couple who will be taken on trips or driving that fancy car or whatever, whatever their, their goal was. Um, but that, that was what they were you know, aiming for. It wasn't necessarily that they wanted to create a passive income stream that would support them outside of this, is that they were always going to be building, 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 um, and serving their upline and their downline. And I did not want to do that for the rest of my life. So I, I walked away from it. Uh, I'm honestly a little ashamed of how I did it. Uh, I literally ghosted them. I'm not proud of that, but that's what I did. So I, I did actually learn a lot by being uh, in Amway, the an MLM, a uh, pyramid scheme, whatever you want to say, specifically Amway. Some of the cons though from the experience is that I invested time and money that I will never get back. Uh, I spent a lot of money. I bought a lot of products. Some of them were really good. A lot of them I ended up throwing out. The pros though, uh, I can actually pick these people out so easily like there's a way that they're taught to speak there's a way that they're taught to interact um, with uh, outside people outside of the MLM um, that it it's so specific that I can pick them out anywhere and I've actually been approached a few times since then to be in Amway again but I think the biggest pro that still affects me today is actually reading personal growth and self-development books they pushed that so hard that you should always be reading a book that betters yourself or invests in your business or or helps you as a person. And that's something that I really came away with in a very positive way. I already showed you that I, I read um, the 15 uh, Invaluable Laws of Growth, but there were so many books that I bought and read. Some of the books that they recommended uh, was uh, The Five Love Languages before it was even popular. I read The Five Love Languages before it became this huge thing on the internet. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, Don't, Don't Eat the Marshmallow Yet, which is a really cute, fast little read all about delayed gratification and why that's a good thing. Um, and so many, I still own so many of these books. Like, like this isn't even all of them. I've gotten rid of some over the years. I've like, donated a bunch. These are the ones that I haven't read yet. <laughs> um, and I want to read them now that I'm in a, a better place to, to to take the information in. But for a long time, I just held on to them because I felt bad that I had spent that money and I hadn't read them. Since that time, self-improvement has been a huge part of my life. I've always been trying to grow and build myself into a better person. Especially now that I'm getting a little bit older, I, I see no point in repeating the same year over and over and over again. Every year I want to be a better person. I want to be, uh, I want to grow in some way. I want uh, to achieve my goals, uh, whether it's in my own personal life or in my professional or, or anything like that. In taking this information, whether it's in a book, a podcast, even from an, an unlikely source, I take that all in and try to apply it to my life so that I'm always a better person. And that's something that I really did take away from it. So thanks Amway, but also no thank you. Thanks so much for watching my uh, video about my story and my involvement with Amway, the MLM, pyramid scheme, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I hope you took some value away from today's video, whether it was entertainment or uh, education in some way. Um, if you have any other questions about my experience in Amway, just put it down in the comments. I'll try to answer those as soon as I can. So if you like this video, please click that like button. And if you want to stick around for more motivational or story time type videos, please click that subscribe button and maybe think about ringing that bell so that you don't miss a Monday upload. Until next time though, guys, we'll see you. Take care. Bye. So how was your day? Yeah? What'd you get up to? Oh really? That's cool.